What's up guys, it's Dope Creations here, bringing you the final episode of Quest for 40,000 Game School. Uh, I haven't bought you one of these episodes for quite a while, because I wanted to leave the last episode for something big, and the release of Duke Nukem Forever is the biggest release this year, uh, since it has been in development for the last 12 years, or however long it's been, and it hasn't been getting very good reviews. Uh, I haven't seen any of the reviews, but what I've heard is they've been getting like it's been getting like threes and fours. But I definitely don't agree with that. It's better than a four. Uh, it's certainly not like a ten out of ten by no means, but it's certainly not that low. Um, so in these episodes, as you know, I tell you. A bit about the game, and I tell you how difficult it is to get the achievements. And with that, let's start the episode. Uh, so to start with, the story of Big Moving Forever is very minimalistic. Um, there's nothing to it really. It's just aliens have taken Earth's women, and it's up to do to blast every alien away to get them back. And that's it really. There's nothing else to it. Um, there's very little character interaction. Like um, at the very beginning of the game you'll get a, a little message from the president or whoever it is, I can't remember, telling you to go kill these aliens. And that's it really. There's another on another couple of levels you get some guy saying, oh go kill these guys and we'll open the next door for you or give us a hand with these guys and I don't know, we'll help you move on or something I don't know. but yeah it's very little character interaction and speaking of the character interaction when people are talking the facial animation is so bad it's their mouth is just opening up and down. There's no lip movement whatsoever. It's basically like a hand puppet. It's just terrible. As you can see from the video, which I haven't made the video yet, but I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure I've put a clip in there to show you what I mean. But uh, yeah, the animation. That's the only animation really that is bad. Like the gun animations, the... Well, I don't know. <laughs> All the other animations, apart from the mouth movement, are pretty good. Um, as you can see, the graphics of the game are not the best of what's on the consoles, but it's still pretty good. Um, there are some blurry textures and um, some definite texture popping, but texture popping seems to be in most games, so it's not really that big a deal, really. Um, but apart from that, I haven't really seen any major glitches, um, which is good because you know, quite a lot of games have really major glitches, like I don't know, falling through the floor, or something get some object get just floating in the air or something. So yeah, the graphics are, are good. Um, I've heard they're a lot better on the PC version, but I don't have that version, so I really can't tell you. But um, yeah, they're not they're not bad. Uh, what else? Um, guns. You get quite a few guns. Um, you, I think you have about twelve, ranging from um, pistol, shotgun, machine gun, sniper rifle. Uh, you know the ba those basic ones, and then you've got a freeze ray, which obviously freezes en enemies. Uh, the shrink ray, which shrinks enemies, and that's it for the unique, like yeah, the unique guns. But there are a couple of alien weapons, which are basically the alien version of a machine gun and rocket launcher. Um, well, not rocket launcher, the Devastator. 
which is sort of like a cross between a machine gun and a rocket launcher, really, because it fires missiles really quickly, which is a pretty good weapon. Um, right in the jewels. Yeah, so good variety of weapons there. Um, a lot of fun to use for all of them. And my first playthrough, and my only playthrough so far, I was using the uh, pistol as my secondary the whole time because there's an achievement for um, beating the game with using just your no not by using the secondary only by keeping the pistol on you at all times and if you're wondering you can if you drop the weapon the pistol you can reload the checkpoint and just carry on because that happened to me and it, it's still unlocked, so it, it's fine if you were wondering about that. Um, the main selling point of the game is Duke's comment. Like, everything Duke says to people that he walks past from killing aliens, interacting with objects, every line he says is, is so funny. And that is the, the main the main thing that you would want to buy the game for is just to hear what dude says. Um, like I said, just then, it, it's so funny. And along with um, funny lines, another great point is to play through it to see all the little easter eggs and references. That there's so many. Um, some that I've missed on my first playthrough that I saw comments people have written in someone else's video um, it's crazy the amount of stuff that's in there um, and there's probably references to older Duke Nukem games but like I said before I haven't played the older games so I can't say if there are any but uh, if you if, if you see my achievement videos there's the um, the achievement that Buckethead, which has references to um, the Halo, the Halo armor, uh, Dead Space, and Borderlands, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I've from seeing other people's videos, they've mentioned there's um, World of Warcraft, the uh, Leroy Jenkins thing. Um, what else is there? There's, uh What was that film? Uh, it's, Inception, that's the one. There's a reference to that in, in the game. Which, after seeing that, someone commenting about that reference, the level that it's in does make sense. But if you if you haven't played the game, then I won't spoil it for you. But if you play the game, you get to the level and you see that little reference, you'll, it'll trigger in your mind that it does make sense. Um, so yeah, the only other thing that I can talk about really is the uh, multiplayer, which I haven't played that much of. I've only played about half an hour, and what I played it wasn't that good. But that may be just because there was... It, the game had only just been released, so there was only probably about three or four people in each of the games that I played. Um, the game did seem to be a bit laggy, and... If you've got, you can you find you can find special pickups like a um, jetpack, and if you have got the jetpack and the rocket launcher, you're basically like untouchable. Cause you'd just be flying around, just blasting everyone away with a rocket launcher, and it's kind of seemed unfair, really. But um, yeah, the online multiplayer is two to eight players. Um, I haven't really got a interest in, in going back and playing it but um yeah if if you've played it a lot more than i have then please leave a comment and Damn. let Does me know, you know how no gas, what you think of it um, no chicks. so yeah that's the game and the only other thing i can say is as you can see by the video and if you've played it it's it's not a game of the year contender at all but it is a lot of fun to play, and if it wasn't for Duke's comments, like I said, the game wouldn't be as good as it is. So uh, other than that, all I can say 
is that the achievement score. I currently have 750 out of 1,000 achievements. No, not 1,000 achievements, achievement points. Um, and which is pretty good, it's three quarters of the achievements. All I have to do is complete it on the highest difficulty, really. And there's a couple of others, but uh, they're little things. Uh, so at the end of episode 6 I had 39,190 points and at the end of this episode I have 40,065 points which is an increase of 875 points and that is the end of quest for 40,000 game score I've reached my target of 40,000 and I hope you enjoyed the series and if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in whatever series I can come up with. So, see you then.